Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you right here, isn't it? So I hope you are having an amazing, and if not, a wonderful day. And today, just like any other Tuesday, I come live to you on Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. This is Lisa, and I am your expert hypnotherapist. And every week, I come to bring information, uh, inspiration, or some educational uh, thing for you to learn something different about the work that I do. So. Today, I want to talk to you about unlocking your mind and being free. So the other day, I was, uh, as always, when I walk my dog, I'm listening to a podcast or something. I love uh, audibles because I can go to YouTube or listen to audibles. And instead of reading a book, um, I can just walk and listen. So I... I used to read a book a week. So the love for learning, the love for reading, listening has always been a biggest factor. So I was listening to Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And on his second chapter, he's got 13 principles. His second principle is desire. So I was listening uh, about desire as I am walking and I am part of nature. And I tuned in and like, you know, this is one of the words that is so impactful and yet so simple. Desire. What does desire mean? I mean, everyone desires something in life right it can be something emotional and all desires are emotions right connected to wanting something the thing and um, napoleon hill says there is one one quality that we all possess and that is the definiteness of purpose the knowledge of what we want and the burning desire because what the mind of a man can conceive it can also achieve let me say this again what the mind of a man can conceive and believe it can also achieve and this took me back to when i was in my hypnotherapy school and i remember one of our masters, um, Gil Boyne, he quoted this and it didn't sink in. Years later at a seminar, uh, Robert Otto, he, uh, he's also another hypnotherapist and an incredible speaker, presenter, everything. In one of the seminars, he walked down the aisle and he turned around and said, I want you to know one thing. What the mind of a man can conceive and believe he can achieve. How profound was that? And today, again, it reminded me, you know, we can hear something read something, learn something over and over, over and over. And it may not sink in until we are ready. Until the desire to make a change is there. So we can hear something a thousand times and not sink in until that one moment where you are low or where you are high, where you are ready when you are open. That's when change happens. So a lot of, let me give you an example, some people who come to me for stop smoking, they've been smoking for years. 
and when they come and say i'm ready to stop smoking or i'm ready to quit right and our mind does not understand a quit because as adults we have been trained not to be quitters my first question is why now why now what is the burning desire what is the factor that you are ready to stop smoking now or quit smoking right and then i educate them because we don't like to be quitters that's why you have quit and take start it again quit and start it again is because you haven't made a decision to stop completely stop because when there is that burning desire and the belief and what the mind can conceive you can achieve when you believe that this can happen you are ready and you no longer want to smoke like i was telling a, a potential client and he said you know i don't believe uh, it, it can happen because i don't believe i can stop and i said well why would you want to if you like it so much he says but i don't like it anymore and it's not good for my health well, if you've been smoking for 35 years, you know it's not good for your health. That's not a burning desire to stop until, until you have a heart attack or the doctor said so. That burning desire that if I take one more hit, I might die. Or someone who has a grandchild or even a child. And especially women, they stop smoking during pregnancy, right? And even the husband stops smoking during the pregnancy. And then a year later, they pick it up. It's like, okay, now I can go back to what I want. But if you could stop for a year, a year and a half, you now understand it is a mindset. So it is a decision it is not an addiction it is a dedication to what it is that you want and i've been talking about this over and over so one of the things i like to also say is our mind your subconscious mind is just like a magnet that will attract into your life what you spend your most time focusing on so if you focus on the negativity oh, you are going in that realm in that loop of negativity but when you start desiring something that you want you want to get married you want to fit in that beautiful size what six dress actually your body will do everything to fit in that when you want to become a non-smoker when you want to focus to win something when you want to focus on closing escrow on a house believe it or not that desire that burning desire of wanting that house having that house and why you want that house becomes your driving force that's why you go from open house to open house open house to open house until you find your desired home and the moment you see it you go that's it this is what i want and you step in it's like you start feeling oh my god this is it i feel it i know it this is what i want to step into every single day and when you physically mentally emotionally become one with it your subconscious mind because it has no bearing it will it, it's there to please you it has absolutely no judgment except to make your feelings a reality then it will bring you exactly what you want so become very clear as to what you want to attract and if you turn around and say but i've attracted so many of negative people in my life so why is it that i keep attracting that or why is it that i constantly all these negative things happen i would say you need to do a little bit of a check 
from the neck up from the body from the conscious and your subconscious level to see what is your programming hmm? so how can you make that change it's for you to know that your mind is in three parts I love talking about our mind because as a clinical hypnotherapist as a stress management consultant and as an action coach helping you to take that action to the next level I like to educate all my clients on this level of the conscious and subconscious because consciously you look listen and learn your conscious mind is responsible only for 5% of your mind only 5% because it is your objective and thinking a way of being all your thoughts memories feelings wishes are all uh, you are all aware and it is given to you by your conscious mind this is the action this is the doer this is the masculine part of you so you're consciously doing things you consciously make things happen and that is the right side it is uh, the action taker if you so need to understand how we separate them and the subconscious mind is the hub is the receiver it's uh, it's there to please it's there to provide and make things happen which is the most feminine area of who we are and when you realize 95 percent of your mind is when you conceive it and you come to believe right the belief system is so feminine it's so delicate it's so mm, blossoming that is there to make every desire become reality and it doesn't process anything in a negative way but because when you place it in there of what it is that you want right everything becomes literally for it it's like okay next that's why they say the best time is to write things listen to things read things that over and over of what you want to conceive and then you go to sleep and right before you sleep you go into this dream state into this beta state and it's in beta state that things mull over and you come into daydream that's why you're never supposed to go to bed listening to something negative or uh, looking at harsh movies or reading things or even fighting before you go to sleep it's the worst thing because your body is in such turmoil your mind is constantly awake and alert because it's all that negative energy in there and it needs a lot of time to go into process because your subconscious mind what does it do it processes things for you it comes brings things into resolution so you awaken knowing and everything happens in dream state that's why we say meditate and visualize and step into what it is that you want and it controls all your perceptions right and uh, it filters out everything else so if you want to make a change in your life your reality is to create a new one what is it that you want in life I like to share and say one of the books that I got because some people ask me what well, what's one book you would recommend for me to read and understand my mind understand how things happen I remember when I started in hypnotherapy school my god 19 when did I graduate 
I graduated 1998. So for the last 22 years and more, I've been practicing this line of work. Success is not instantaneous. Not everything in life is a TikTok uh, become a one night superstar. Throughout my years, I have gone through seminars, read books, um, through experiencing with my clients. It's understanding every client is different. Some go into this progressive deep state by slowly listening to the sound of my voice as my voice changes for my clients and taking them into a deeper state on my couch, on my recliner. It's not a couch, it's a recliner. And realizing that we become one. We immerse into everything that surrounds us because our seeing eye, when we close our eyes, we've already seen everything. We know everything. And frankly, you cannot conceive anything unless you have already visualized it and you know it. So if I say banana, you already know what a banana looks like. So when I can, I ask you to visualize something and you want it, it's because in reality you know what it looks like. So when someone wants they said, what would your dream house be? I know what my dream house looks like. So to make it reality for my subconscious mind, I created this beautiful vision board. I Googled everything about this uh, Spanish home, the tiles, the beams, what my backyard would look like the water fountain, the swimming pool, and how I would have this party around the swimming pool at night. So if it is at night, how many tables would fit in? That means there has to be a music system that is going to be outside in the backyard. And this beautiful flowers, orchids, or magnolias that I would have in the swimming pool. The essence of how to have a fundraising event or a, a beautiful celebra celebra celebratory, celebratory event in the backyard. The scent, the music, the glam, um, the tables, the tablecloth. And when I look back into the house, what would I see? If I walk into the kitchen, what would I do? The sense in the kitchen. So creating all this is perhaps creating a vision board and stepping into it. That's why they say daydream. Becoming a non-smoker is also knowing how it feels to be free of smoking, to have a lighter, smaller, toner, thinner body that you want is to also stepping into it and visualizing once I have this, how would I feel? What would I dress like? So it's every essence of not only conscious mind, but the con subconscious, right? If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? It's not having it. It's not buying the ticket. It's like, if I had a million dollars, how would I feel? What would I do with this money? How may I be of service with this money? Because that's where the gratitude comes. And the answer to some of my friends and people who, this is the book that I got. Unlock your mind and be free. Truly a practical approach to hypnotherapy. It's understanding what hypnosis is, your mind, conscious, subconscious, and the practical guidelines. And believe it or not, it was written by Edgar Barnett. He was a medical doctor, just like Dr. Joe Dispenza, 
just like Bruce Lipton. They come from the science of understanding the mind, the science of biology, science of um, knowing chemistry, uh, that the whole engineering part of the the mind and the body and not so much believing in the powers of the hypnosis or the subconscious until they experienced it until they started working and found the powers within so when dr barnett started writing about this and after the acknowledgments it says prisons of the mind the prisons of the mind are the fears phobias and anxieties that are created within us and for us so and the same thing believe it or not is something that napoleon hill talks about that a part of our burning desires the 10 basic motives that inspire your thoughts that also are connected to the emotions and the burning desires desires for self-preservation of the basic needs your basic needs right and the emotion of love and one of the things that is also part of Napoleon Hill in chapter two about, about the burning desire is the emotion of fear because fear can also be a fuel for you to achieve something instead of the fear that uh, stops you from achieving something and the desire of life and life after death what happens afterwards the desire of uh, the freedom of mind and body the shackles either phys uh, in reality or in our mind that we think um, things are not possible the shackles that we create oh, you know I can't have that house the four bedroom beautiful house because I'm not good enough and everything else those are shackles it may be invisible and yet it is a shackle even the fear the emotion of revenge is a burning desire the emotion of hatred when you hate something so much which I turned it and in my practice I've turned it from hi Alina John turned it from the practice instead of hatred of pain I like to say pain versus hate because when we are in such dire pain we want something different we want something unlocking right we want freedom and we want to be out of that pain out of that negativity out of that hatred in order for us to be somewhere and another is the desire of self-expression even the emotion of sex yes sex is a, a burning desire that so many of us want so the next part of it is the prison of anger believe it or not even dr barnett is talking almost the same things at napoleon hill where decades ago talked about the same thing in think and grow rich so prisons of pain and sadness of guilt and the crime that it is committed in our mind right and the court which is the judgment self-analyzing criticizing part of who we are there is no one that criticizes judges and belittles you more than you do and it is a pattern somewhere somehow when you were a child you either heard it or you took it upon yourself or you believed something about you that you continued to do and those are all things that because it's stored in your subconscious mind 
You need to tap into that subconscious mind to shift and change those patterns. It's not always cognitive therapy. It is not always the conscious that understands it or knows it. And that's the whole thing. To make that shift and to do it faster, you need to tap into the subconscious mind. So today I wanted to share this and say, what is it that you desire in your life? The desire to walk, the desire to have the abundance of uh, success. You want to achieve a higher mountain. You want to achieve having 200 plus people at an event which my 3e event is coming up and if you are part of our newsletter you will see you will read it it is going one of the it's perhaps my ninth if not closing coming to fruition last uh event but that's something for you to think about and if you are into women's empowerment if you are a woman that wants to be empowered you need to be at our 3E event, not only impactful uh, messages from our speakers, because every speaker is about mindset, reset, soul and heart shifting. I will do some hypnosis. There will be um, powerful female uh, or powerful she authors will be there. We will have healing experiences and exercises you want to be impacted be a part of this event you want to have a mindset reset give me a call it's what i do and i am here to support you and help you step up show up and speak up for yourself because you do matter you deserve the best isn't it time for you to unlock your mind and be free of the invisible shackles may you have an incredible day and remember the burning desire within you everything that you conceive and believe you can achieve my name is Lisa Bubari your expert hypnotherapist and I look forward to connecting with you and seeing you at the 3e event in September. Until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye. Oh, and if you liked this session, by all means, click here, share, like, and see you next time. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.